contact for up. So, you know, most of my life I've had one of these kind of uh, dorm Christmas trees. So I thought I'm ready to get a big tree, like a real Christmas tree. So we're going to say goodbye to the dorm tree. So, basically this is what I decided on. I got this at Walmart. I like to do things a little bit differently. So, you know, I've got an all white Christmas tree. And I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. So from there, I decided to go to the ornament section and try to find some cool lights and ornaments to make my tree pretty neat. Problem is, is they all look the same. You know, all the ornaments are the exact same stuff that I had when I was a kid and all the lights, very little LED stuff. It's just really not cool. So I just left really disappointed. I decided to buy the tree because I thought the light was pretty cool. But then I decided to just go home and brainstorm. So what I came up with was um, to use my 3D printer. I mean, that's pretty obvious. You've got ornaments all over the thing of Earth. They're actually running a, a contest now for ornaments. And I was decided to 3D print all of the ornaments. So that's, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to do that. But then I also thought about uh, Adafruit, my favorite website. And I buy a lot of stuff and I have a lot of cool stuff on hand from them. And I had some of this NeoPixel strip, which is these addressable LEDs. And I had some of these trinkets uh, that are kind of Arduino based uh, small microcontrollers that are really cheap. And I've been really itching for a project with them. So I decided I'm going to combine all of these cool technologies into a tree. So let's go take a look at what I've come up with. Alright, so I've got here kind of some of the stuff that I built to go on the tree. Right now we're going to take a look at lighting. So the first thing we've got here is just two meters of the NeoPixel strip. Um, I took a trinket microcontroller, and to give you an idea about how small you guys are, um, that just builds right into the end of the NeoPixel strip, and that provides all the control for all these LEDs. Um, about 120 LEDs here, so that's pretty cool. And I can plug it into my computer, and I can change the animation all I want to, even year by year. Next year, I can just pull it out and make something different. So I also went to the thrift store and I found a, um, an AC brick that will do um, the power requirements that I need to run these two meters. So we'll plug that in and see what we get. So it takes a second for the Arduino to boot up and then it starts to go through an animation. And all of this lighting is going to go in the trunk of the tree, in the core, and it's going to kind of fade out. So this will provide all the lights. Instead of using string lights, it will just be one super bright string in the middle and it'll do all these cool different effects. So that's what we're going to do for the main lighting. Now, for the tree topper, I decided to do a cool little star. So basically, I 3D printed the star, and I designed it in Solid Edge, and uh, printed it out of my Solid Doodle 3D printer, and I built it so I had enough room for these NeoPixel strips. Now, that's the same thing as these guys, except these NeoPixels are mounted on a PCB, like a ring. And it's about 16 of them. And I can control these in the same way. So you've got this, and if you can see on the back, I've got some wires coming into a metal tube. And at the end of the tube, here's my wire for power. And there is my uh, trinket microcontroller. So that's going to control the animations for the top of the tree. So we're going to plug it in, let it boot up, and see what we get. All right, well, we're going to do a little bit of a drive-by past some of the ornaments I'm going to be using. Uh, they're all hand-picked. Some of them I designed myself, but a lot of them I got off of Thingiverse from their, their ornament competition. You can see uh, Spaceship One. It's my favorite rocket. You got the Adafruit logo. You got the Superman logo. And a lot of other kind of cool geometric stuff. So some of these guys have been painted. They've all been 3D printed. Now uh, let's start getting them on the tree and let's start setting the tree up.
my uh, Arduino power Christmas tree. Got one Arduino powering the uh, Neopixel strip. I've got a second one powering this uh, star tree topper. And both run to uh, separate AC adapters with two different systems. Uh, all the ornaments have been 3D printed on my solid duo. A lot of them came from a uh, thing versus ornament contest. Some of them I designed. Um, but basically, it's all my favorite things. I've got an Adafruit logo, Spaceship One's my favorite rocket. I got that up here. I got uh, the Superman emblem. I got some snowflakes, some more rockets. I got a little strain of DNA here. So it's a really cool tree. I tried to make it kind of futuristic and, and, and what I felt like we should be doing with Christmas trees at, at this you know, day and age. So here it is. Uh, thanks for watching and check out my YouTube video for some more uh, crazy projects.